Learn English through Stories U5 PDF. Adapted and modified by Kowant Singh Sandhu. Contents Vocabulary, seven tests. Travel and movement. 1. Read the text and decide which answer, A, B, C, or D, best completes each collocation or fixed phrase. Most big cities were built long before the heyday of the private car. As a result, they rarely have enough space for moving traffic or parked vehicles, and long queues of one vehicles are a common sight. Indeed, some cities end up being almost permanently two during the day. Those that have a relatively free three of traffic at non-peak periods of the day do not escape either. The four hour of early morning or early evening can easily see traffic brought to a five. The effects of exhaust six on air pollution in cities has been well documented. Buses might be seen as the solution, but they move slowly because of the sheer seven of other traffic, thus encouraging more commuters to abandon it. Transport 1A standing, B settled, C stationary, D static. 2A stuffed, B saturated, C crammed, D congested. 3A flow, B current, C tide, D flood. 4A push, B rush, C hasty, D hurry. 5A standstill, B hold up, C jam, D freeze. 6 S smells, B odors, C fumes, D stinks. 7 A size, B volume, C breadth, D depth. 8 A civic, B mass, C public, D popular. 2 Match each person from the box with one of the comments. Hishikur conductor passenger driver traffic warden. Commuter steward passer by pedestrian rambler. A. I love wandering through the countryside along deserted footpaths. B. I'll bring you your drink in just a minute, madam. C. I've been waiting all morning at this roundabout for someone to stop. D. I was just walking down the street opposite the bank when I saw it happen. E. I've spent the last half an hour looking for a spot. It's hopeless. F. I'll ring the bell for you, love, when it's time to get off. G. The sign clearly says two hours only, and you've been here all day. H. It's just impossible getting across the road here. We need a subway. I, do you think you could go a little more slowly? I'm a bit nervous. J, this train is late every morning. It has been for years. Free, complete the text with words formed from the words in capitals. One, out two, hack three, fly four, maintain five assist. 6. Accept 7. Compensate 8. Operate. The Manager. Transworld Air. Portugal Street. London. Dear Sir or Madam, I traveled last week on a Transworld Airbus from London Gatwick to Copenhagen. This was the one. Journey of a holiday in Denmark, a few tour arranged through a company called Sunset. My three was due to leave at 8.20 am on Tuesday, 25th November, but did not in fact leave until 20.30, a delay of more than eight hours. The reason given was that vital four 
work had to be carried out. Although all passengers were given a free meal, no other offer of a five was given. Such a long delay is totally six. And I feel justified in the circumstances in requesting some form of financial seven. I have written to the Tor 8, who denied responsibility and advised me to write to you. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully, Charles Rogers. Four, both options make sense. Underline the one which forms a common collocation. A. We managed to complete our journey ahead of slash in front of schedule. B. On our way to York, we divided slash broke our journey in Peterborough. C. As I wasn't coming back by train, I asked for a single slash simple ticket. D. The two coaches collided slash bump, but luckily no one was injured slash wounded. E. There has been widespread public enmity slash opposition to the plan for a new road. If my car skidded slash slipped off the road and hit a tree. G. The train was packed and there was standing place slash room only. H. Look at that enormous goods slash industrial train. It must have 20 or 30 wagons. I. The police accused Donald of breaking the speed limit slash restriction. J. The chairman made a brisk slash flying visit to the company's new office in Brussels. 5. Read the text and decide which answer, A, B, C, or D, best fits each space. Anyone who has gone on a skiing holiday at a ski one of any size will be familiar with the age-old problem, the eternal wait for ski lifts and cable cars. Well, there is an alternative. If you feel like something just a little different, why not try heli skiing in Canada? Somewhere in the snowy wastes of the Rocky Mountains, a helicopter will deposit you and your group onto a slope of virgin snow that you have all to yourselves. It is all a tooth. Cry from the busiest slopes of, say, Switzerland, France, and Italy. You are fifty miles from the nearest town, and there is nothing remotely three. A ski lift, so you have to afford. On legs, skis, and the chopper. You might see the five. Mountain goat or grizzly bear, but there won't be six. Of other skiers. There are one or two disadvantages. Your friendly helicopter pilot might just put you down in a five meter snow seven, and freezing weather might ground your helicopter and leave you eight in the wilderness. One A spot, B haunt, C refuge, D resort. Two A different, B strange, C far, D long. 3. A. Resembling, B. Appearing, C. Seeming, D. Looking. 4. A. Count, B. Trust, C. Rely, D. Reckon. 5. A. Occasional, B. Sometime, C. Incidental, D. Irregular. 6. A. Bunches, B. Hordes, C. Throngs, D. Swarms. 7. A dune, B pile, C mound, D drift. 8. A deserted, B stranded, C marooned, D aground. 6. Replace the words underlined in each sentence with a form of one of the words given. It may be necessary to use a plural or a particular verb form. Accelerate, ascend, collide, dismount. Fasten a light and danger reverse. A. Anne got off her horse and picked up a riding hat. A. B. As the plane went faster down the runway, David began to sweat nervously. A. C. Without realizing it, 
Jim drove backwards into a lamp post. A. B. In thick fog, the two ships ran into each other outside the harbor. E. Passengers who wish to get off at Hove should travel in the front coach. A. F. Please do up your safety belt before we begin the journey. A. G. The captain refused to put at risk the safety of the crew. A. H. The balloon rose up gracefully into the summer sky. A. 7. Complete the spaces by finding one word which fits in all three sentences. A. It only takes one small accident to up the traffic for several hours. The new Atlantic Airbus will, about 700 passengers. Like it or not, it is the train, and not the car which will. The key to the future of domestic travel. B, why don't you just get the goods delivered to your house and yourself a two-hour car journey into the city center? By driving at 70 km slash h instead of 100, you can a lot of petrol. I'm trying to up for a trip to Canada, so I can't afford to buy much at the moment. C. The Department of Transport have a deadline of 1 June for completion of the new motorway. Because of the strike by air traffic controllers, delays are to continue well into next week. The trains in Switzerland are so punctual you can't your watch by them. D. The train was delayed because of ice on the. After the accident, there was a solid. Of cars stretching back for several miles. In a new initiative announced today, police are to take a harder on speeding motorists. E. After a while, the we had been following became thick undergrowth. Right now, I want you to run twice around the for a warm-up. Sorry, I've rather lost of my argument. Answers 1. Read the text and decide which answer, A, B, C, or D, best completes each collocation or fixed phrase. Most big cities were built long before the heyday of the private car. As a result, they rarely have enough space for moving traffic or parked vehicles, and long queues of stationary vehicles are a common sight. Indeed, some cities end up being almost permanently congested during the day. Those that have a relatively free flow of traffic at non-peak periods of the day do not escape either. The rush hour of early morning or early evening can easily see traffic brought to a standstill. The effects of exhaust fumes on air pollution in cities has been well documented. Buses might be seen as the solution, but they move slowly because of the sheer volume of other traffic, thus encouraging more commuters to abandon public transport. To match each person from the box with one of the comments. Hishikar Conductor Passenger Driver Traffic Warden Commuter steward passer by pedestrian rambler. A. I love wandering through the countryside along deserted footpaths. Rambler. B. I'll bring you a drink in just a minute, madam. Steward. C. I've been waiting all morning at this roundabout for someone to stop. Hitchhiker. D. I was just walking down the street opposite the bank when I saw it happen. Passerby. E. I've spent the last half an hour looking for a spot. It's hopeless. Driver. F. I'll ring the bell for you, love, when it's time to get off. Conductor. G. The sign clearly says two hours only, and you've been here all day.
Traffic warden. H. It's just impossible getting across the road here. We need a subway. Pedestrian. I. Do you think you could go a little more slowly? I'm a bit nervous. Passenger. J. This train is late every morning. It has been for years. Commuter. 3. Complete the text with words formed from the words in capitals. 1. Out 2. Hack 3. Fly 4. Maintain 5. Assist. 6. Accept 7. Compensate 8. Operate. The Manager. Transworld Air. Portugal Street. London. Dear Sir or Madam, I traveled last week on a Transworld Airbus from London Gatwick to Copenhagen. This was the outward journey of a holiday in Denmark, a package tour arranged through a company called Sunset. My flight was due to leave at 8.20 am on Tuesday, 25th November, but did not in fact leave until 20.30 a delay of more than eight hours. The reason given was that vital maintenance work had to be carried out. Although all passengers were given a free meal, no other offer of assistance was given. Such a long delay is totally unacceptable, and I feel justified in the circumstances in requesting some form of financial compensation. I have written to the tour operators who denied responsibility and advised me to write to you. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully, Charles Rogers. 4. Both options make sense. Underline the one which forms a common collocation. A. We managed to complete our journey ahead of schedule. B. On our way to York, we broke our journey in Peterborough. C. As I wasn't coming back by train, I asked for a single ticket. D. The two coaches collided, but luckily no one was injured. E. There has been widespread public opposition to the plan for a new road. F. My car skidded off the road and hit a tree. G. The train was packed and there was standing room only. H. Look at that enormous good as train, it must have twenty or thirty wagons. I. The police accused Donald of breaking the speed limit. J. The chairman made a flying visit to the company's new office in Brussels. 5. Read the text and decide which answer, A, B, C, or D, best fits each space. Anyone who has gone on a skiing holiday at a ski resort of any size will be familiar with the age-old problem, the eternal wait for ski lifts and cable cars. Well, there is an alternative. If you feel like something just a little different, why not try heli skiing in Canada? Somewhere in the snowy wastes of the Rocky Mountains, a helicopter will deposit you and your group onto a slope of virgin snow that you have all to yourselves. It is all a far cry from the busiest slopes of, say, Switzerland, France, and Italy. You are 50 miles from the nearest town, and there is nothing remotely resembling a ski lift, so you have to rely on legs, skis, and the chopper. You might see the occasional mountain goat or grizzly bear, but there won't be throngs of other skiers. There are one or two disadvantages. Your friendly helicopter pilot might just put you down in a five-meter snow drift, and freezing weather might ground your helicopter and leave you stranded in the wilderness. 6. Replace the words underlined in each sentence with a form of one of the words given. It may be necessary to use a plural or a particular verb form. Accelerate, ascend, collide, dismount. Fasten a light and danger reverse. A. Anne got off her horse and picked up a riding hat. Dismounted. 
B. As the plane went faster down the runway, David began to sweat nervously. Accelerates. C. Without realizing it, Jim drove backwards into a lamppost. Reversed. D. In thick fog, the two ships ran into each other outside the harbor. Collided. E. Passengers who wish to get off at Hove should travel in the front coach. Alight. F. Please do up your safety belt before we begin the journey. Fasten. G. The captain refused to put at risk the safety of the crew. In danger. H. The balloon rose up gracefully into the summer sky. Ascended. 7. Complete the spaces by finding one word which fits in all three sentences. A. It only takes one small accident to hold up the traffic for several hours. The new Atlantic Airbus will hold about 700 passengers. Like it or not, it is the train and not the car which will hold the key to the future of domestic travel. B. Why don't you just get the goods delivered to your house and save yourself a two-hour car journey into the city center? By driving at 70 km h instead of 100, you can save a lot of petrol. I'm trying to save up for a trip to Canada, so I can't afford to buy much at the moment. C. The Department of Transport have set a deadline of 1 June for completion of the new motorway. Because of the strike by air traffic controllers, delays are set to continue well into next week. The trains in Switzerland are so punctual you can set your watch by them. D. The train was delayed because of ice on the line. After the accident, there was a solid line of cars stretching back for several miles. In a new initiative announced today, Police are to take a harder line on speeding motorists. E. After a while the track we had been following became thick undergrowth. Right now, I want you to run twice around the track for a warm-up. Sorry, I've rather lost track of my argument.